Hey, what is up everybody? It's me, Nick here. Here we are today on Stadium, one of my favorite maps to glitch on, but one of my least favorite to edit. It's like over 20 minutes long and I just wanted to get the video over with when I was editing it. I'm like, are you kidding me? This is going to be ridiculous trying to do a commentate over it. I'm going to be exhausted by the end of it. But it is one of my favorite maps to glitch on because it has so much to do on it. So many secret rooms, the cool hockey rink, as well as the cool areas outside the map. I'll actually mention a glitch that we've always been trying on Stadium during this video. For you guys that are um, trying to impress us or anything, or you're trying to like always up for a challenge, I'll mention something to you guys because probably one of the last biggest areas outside of a map that hasn't been found yet. And I'll explain why later on. But begin by breaching out in this corner. All this grass is real. It's a pretty nice area to get out at because it's nice and like real. Like there's not really much of a scary kind of like spawning at all because like I know on like firing range, you need to bring the knife outside that map and cut sometimes go flying right off the edge. This map you got plenty enough room as well as you can actually swim in the water over here too. So you have to dive in it though because the death barrier it's quite low. You can't swim that deep. Like I can barely peek under the water here. Like just that's about as far as I can go down. Like you die pretty quick, but obviously swimming is still fun nonetheless, so it's still awesome. And like you're gonna have to do a bunch of care about chopping when you get out here, but I just want to show you it is possible to swim. Only in the middle of one fountain is real, which we are gonna be jumping on. You don't need to jump on it, I'm just going to to save myself some time and care packages. Otherwise you can just start throwing care packages right here, but instead I'm going to jump onto the center of the fountain. Only this fountain, the other fountain to my like left bar down there is not real for some strange reason. It's only like the center of it that's actually real. So we're going to actually take a little stoppy break here to show you guys some other areas that you can get to before we head on over to the awesome road area outside the map. It's one of the coolest places you guys can go to as soon as you get outside the map. It's one of my favorites just because it's massive. It was so cool when we found it because it was just like a series of roads back there that just goes miles, miles out. We didn't actually know about how far it would go back then because we didn't know how to get past the spectating barrier before, but now we know how to using a little glitch of ours. But anyway, so once you have a care about it, just go over here, come over here, hop on this. I find the easiest and closest thing to jump on from here is the stairs. Just jump on the stairs, it's real, the concrete's fake. Just jump on the stairs and some of the grass is real here so it's okay to go on that if you want. Just be very careful you don't go too far on the grass to the right because eventually you will kind of die and fall. So, unless you have a tactical insertion, there's all this area that you can go on just kind of showing you all the area you can actually get to. Now from here you kind of have to do a little bit of hook jump around and you should land on ground over here. And you can go all the way down this way, I can show you a few things too. If you try to throw care packages to the left, you will start getting care packages on top of barriers about a thousand feet above your head. So you can't really hop around the care package this way, as well as there will be a barrier in the way eventually, so don't even worry about it. However, you can get on top of all these little railings, something too too special, but something still cool to do in the meantime. All of them seem to be real out here, I don't know why, but... So, pretty much like the actual, uh, like this, the roads, it's gotta be the best part when you get outside the map. It's just, stadium is like... One of those maps that just kind of seem like fun to glitch on just because it's actually like bright as opposed to other maps. They're just kind of dull and kind of boring. It's just kind of fun, especially the hockey arena. I've been showing you a bunch of cool stuff in that that a lot of people don't really typically show in the hockey arena that we kind of discovered secret little things inside of it. But um, so begin hopping down here. You should see a little small little house up ahead on like the sidewalk over there. You want to jump just to the right of it. That's where the real ground begins. I'll, I'll go into more detail on that when I get closer because I can't really see it from here, especially when I'm going in fast motion. But um, keep hopping over here and you should be okay. The, the caravages might vary in height on some of the water. It's really weird. But um, so I'm just going to try to grab that ammo up. Can't do it. I wanted an ammo though just so I didn't have to play anything. Now I'm going to try to get this one though. Um. Yeah, what the cool part is about Stadium Alley, there's this one area outside Stadium. It is massive if you can get to it. It is all real. It's a huge slab of concrete. There's this water area that I'm at right now, but on the opposite side of the map, there's this huge lake on the opposite side of the end of a road when you go over at the hockey, like the hockey um, statue guy, the hockey player, and then the statue of him. And over there, just go extend on the road. Just keep going straight, and you should see a huge mass of water. Across that body of water, there's a huge piece of concrete. If you guys can get to it, that would be amazing. It's gotta be the last biggest area outside Black Ops multiplayer maps that has not been found yet. However, this is probably one of the biggest areas outside the stadium. Once you get over here, jump to that little like side of like the building I showed you guys, that little small little building. Just jump to the right of it. That's where the real ground is. 
go along the sidewalk pretty far, as far as I did before, and then you just take a little small little straight jump or care by chopping over to these set of roads. And it is just a massive series of roads that extends all over the map, as you can see. It just keeps branching out everywhere. It's amazing how far it can go. It's really fun when you get some RC cars out here. You can use it as an RC car racetrack. Pretty fun when you get doing that. But, um, like the big body... Oh, yeah, by the way, we're coming back here again, right where we first got outside the map. You can kill yourself, or you can come care about chop back, either or. And this is an easy way if you guys don't want to risk your attack. Plant the attack at the corner and then just kind of jump over here and kind of you can actually reach it. Now from here there's actually this one pillar. It's only the pillars that are closest to the map. Not all of them are real. Only this one and the one on the exact opposite side of the stadium. Which we will be going to later on. But this one it's just kind of a cool spot to head on to. It goes really far into the map too. It looks like it stops right at the grass but it actually goes down deeper. I'll show you that in a second. But as for the area way outside the map it's um... There's no way of getting to it. Like the care packages, we tried approaching it from every possible angle. The care packages eventually fall into the map, and the ground isn't real. The care packages, so it's impossible to even reach the water. Even if I can get in the water, I might be able to swim in the water, but there's no way I would ever be able to get back up on the land across the water. So we've been always trying to figure out how to do it. And then we started thinking of like the RC car, how you make care packages flow, and we started thinking of that, trying to get care packages floating all the way over. It was a bad idea, it didn't quite work out the way we wanted it to. But it was still an idea, we were trying so many crazy things when we were trying it. But now we're going to be going outside the map onto a huge, huge wall outside the map. And there's a few of these, but the other ones are not accessible only because of the given area that where the carry badges fall into the map, you can't actually get to them. This seems to be the best one, there's three different walls you can get onto, there are all of those buildings straight ahead of me. But with a very far carry badge chopping, hopefully you guys are really determined at glitching and kind of up for care badge glitches because it's a bit of a distance away. Now throw a care badge through this wall, this is the hardest part. You need a care badge on the other side of the wall because these care badges won't go too close to the wall because eventually they'll fall on the map. There's like a small little gap where the care badge won't land so you kind of have to chuck one a bit far away. Then you have to take a little hoping jump across through the wall and hopefully that you land on the care badge or if you make it high enough like I had a vertical then you can just see over the wall and it's okay. But now as for this, I'm just trying to get myself an ammo right now. That's why I'm chucking them really close. I'm trying to grab the ammo that I'm on. I'm just trying to get one to fall off the side. Because I really want that ammo. There we go. Alright, got one. Now we can begin our journey over there again. See those buildings straight ahead of me? Those are the ones that we're going to be getting on. I'll show you exactly where they turn fake and you can jump on the wall. It's just a cool area to get to. It's nothing too, too special. So if you don't feel like wasting a bunch of time on it, don't bother. But it is still pretty cool to do. And I am really struggling to get all these Black Ops videos that I'm really questioning myself if I'm going to be able to get them all out. Because some of these are taking so long and I just don't know if I can do it. Last night I probably could have got a little more done if I um, didn't talk to my girlfriend on Skype for quite a while. So, But it was kind of important. So, Anyways, uh, hopefully we'll get them out. We have two more days to go. We can get do this, hopefully. Monday I might be a little bit busy doing a chemistry assignment I have to do for Tuesday, for Wednesday. But... I'm just trying to figure out how I'm actually going to get Black Ops because I have no idea how I'm actually am able to get to a store that day. Because I really want Black Ops 2 on the day it comes out, especially because I don't even have classes Tuesdays at all. Like, I have my whole Tuesdays off and awesome. And that was a risky thing to do, what I just did there. I threw a care package really late, just in case I needed one more. And that care package could just hit me in the wall and like, make me fall, but I got lucky there. So I just jump on the wall where it kind of like, you can see like where the actual line is that I'm standing on. And you can find out where it's real. And just make a stack of like four or five care badges and kind of head on over. But you can jump on over to this wall as one of the other ones way behind me. I'm just going to sweep the video to kind of show you guys. And if I didn't sweep this video, oh my god, it'd probably be like 30 minutes long. So luckily I didn't do that. It'd be the longest my preview video I made, which would be ridiculous. But um, as for this, like, you can hop over to this one too. It's just all these cool little walls you can head on to. But after this, we're going to be going inside the hockey rink, going back inside the map, because we're done with outside the map on this side of the map. We'll be going outside the map again on near the, where the hockey player statue is. As for now though, this is pretty much as far as we're going to go. There is another building like this, they're all, all these buildings that are like this exact identical building are all like possible to get on top of the walls, if you can get to them, that is. They're a bit difficult. But anyways, as for getting outside the stadium, it can be quite annoying trying to get inside the hockey rink only because of the awkward window skylight above your head but if you look at it you can kind of get an idea and sense for it and how like you can actually like, squeeze it through it's just because that middle beam is really pain in the ass trying to get one in but once you do get one in it is quite fun especially when you get all the players in you can get everyone in by knifing the guy outside the map it's all good 
And this is actually kind of funny how this worked out. Thank you, Quinn, for shooting a Valkyrie at my friend. Now I can breach. And it was actually a great one, too. I can knew as soon as I saw that slant and one come in, I knew it was possible. So, I'm going to knife right now and get myself outside the map. Well, kind of outside the map, kind of in more of a secret room, if you anything. But I'll be showing you a bunch of areas outside here, because a lot of people just kind of like have fun around the stadium, but they don't actually know all the places you actually can go to. Because there's a lot of cool stuff that you can do inside the hockey ring. So, from here, you can go like all the way up on top, like there's like, like following the stairs, I'll show you. Like, I'll just kind of show you every single little spot that I know of. Like, there's a little secret area down here. I'm surprised that those doorways down there are buried all. It's kind of weird. But up here, you can actually just climb the stairs the entire way up. It's pretty straightforward. Except there's this little spot that people don't know about. If you look, if you turn around, and you're going up the staircase, take a little run, jump, crouch without hitting, like, your head off the roof. And you should be able to jump in the secret room back there. At the very top here, there is a roof above my head. We'll be getting on that later, which is pretty crazy if you guys are up for it. I'll show you guys in a bit. You're going to have to make a 12 stack for it. But, as for this, you can also climb up, like, just like the side of the staircase, kind of like a little ramp thing you get on, only the staircase is fake, but on the side of it is okay. It's really strange. But, you can get on top of that little platform, as well as going over here, climb up the side of the wall, it kind of acts as a ramp. You can't actually go on the stairs, the stairs are fake. Got this little hidden area, but you should be able to climb outside if you get stuck in there. However, if you keep going up here, this is where it gets tricky. You have to kind of go up here, and then kind of jump to your right. I didn't go up high enough, though, that was a stupid move by me. So just kind of go up it, like up to the point here, and then just kind of jump over to the left because there's a bit of a wall in front of you. I know I said the right there, kind of screwed up. But once you're here, once again, climb up the railings. The stairs are fake. I don't know what my friend was thinking there. And you just kind of run over here. So over here, you're basically touching the sky barrier as soon as like you get to the top, like the bleachers here. Like you literally are like touching the sky barrier. It's kind of crazy. But so now what we're gonna do is I'll show you this little other hidden spot. But first off, I'm gonna be showing you this other little ledge thing you can get onto. There's a lot of cool areas inside the hockey arena. It's so much fun to play inside here, I'm not gonna lie. It's like one of the best places to like come when you're coming to the stadium. It's just such a cool room. There's like nothing that beats it. Even though the Crisis Warhead room is cool, but this one you can do so much inside of. But if you get stuck in here, you can dive and get out. Just want to show you guys that. But as for like the one of the secret areas, something too special, I just kinda like do it like a friend. I'll screw around with a friend trying to get him to find me, so I was kinda hiding down here. But basically you do is kind of head over the, up top of the stairs like we were before, the top of the bleachers, and then just kind of hook jump outside, turn around, lay down, and back your way into this little ledge here. Just kind of a cool little spot to hide in if you guys are feeling up for it. Maybe you guys are playing Mike Myers outside the map, I don't know. It'd be kind of a cool area to play in, I'm not going to lie. But um, once you're over here, it, it kind of extends all the way, all the way, like really far back. Not really much of a purpose if you... Unless you're really just kind of boring and really want to do it. But now here is the challenging part. Get on top of this roof, which is possible. You can't plan an attack up there because it's only crouchable because the sky barrier is touching your head. However, this is the method that you're going to have to do it because it's almost impossible to keep climbing the stack and like throwing the caravages on top of it. So what I do is I climb up here really quickly. I see the caravages fall and I and lay down quickly. You're not that a lot of like, experience stacking caravages because every second counts when you're doing this. Like right now I'm booking it as fast as I can. I've already had two care bags fail. I only have three stack right now. You're like you don't want too many to fail. Like I think you only want two to three to fail at max. Because right now I, I have, okay I just got perfect three care bags in a row there. That was good. So now I have about a six stack going. Now I can keep going. I just, this way I don't have to keep, I actually got hit by care bags. That was a stupid move by me. But um. Yeah, so I only failed two garages this entire time, but as you're doing this, you don't want to, like... Because if you're trying to climb a stack, you can, like, fall, you can get hit by a and fall off, and, like, time is, like, the essence in this, like, brutal. Like, look at this, like, the carabag, like, the last one fell, it's already disappearing. Like, I, like, used all a minute and 30 seconds to get the carabag and just get me up here. Because carabag only last a minute and 30 seconds, so you have a minute and 30 seconds to make a perfect 12 stack with only failing two to three care packages of that stack and getting on top of this roof. So it is quite difficult. And this inside the map, I don't even know why I bothered showing it. It was just kind of a cool ledge, even though it's kind of like more of a spot. It's just kind of unique because you don't really typically see things like this. And it was quite cool. During this video, I had something really weird happen on Black Ops I never had before. All my kill streaks were turning like rainbow color. It was really messed up. Like my Sam turret was like as soon as I planted it, or if I was standing really far away, it would be like black, pink, yellow, orange, green. It was really messed up. Staying in the care about helicopters. I was just hoping that I was going to see a dog that was like pink colored, but it didn't happen, unfortunately. 
But it was pretty cool how I, all my kill streaks were so messed up. Like, care about helicopters like night vision green? It was so messed up. That's why I didn't look at them. Otherwise, you get people accusing you of hacking and whatnot. It's just not worth the hassle. But when you're up here, you can plant your tack over here as well. You can hook around this little, like, pillar here. Head on over to this spot as well as the lower ledge below you. It's kind of unique just because there's not many ledges that Treyarch usually allows because they're usually all over like burying things straight up like a cube rather than actually having the detail actually real. So now we're going to be getting inside the map like I said before at the hockey player. My friend almost got boosted outside the map there. But um, from here you're just going to reach yourself out into the corner. I prefer this corner. I don't know why I used to usually do this one. It doesn't really matter. i just kind of killing the dog over there. But okay. So, start reaching out, and you should be able to get on a set of roofs over here, as well as a few areas, and then we're going to be showing you some more secret rooms inside the map, once we get done this. So just keep knifing your way out, it took me forever to get this one, I don't know what the issue was with this one. But, once I get this video, like I had a bunch of problems yesterday with like processing videos, I had like multiple upload videos constantly yesterday, so that's why I only got two out. But really I'm already into the second map pack, and I'm already like going pretty far into them. So, hopefully I can get them all out of the way. A lot of the other maps should be easy, it was just the hard ones were like Berlin Wall, Stadium obviously, and Convoy. Those are all like the big hard maps that have a lot of detail that you need to include in them. Other than that, the rest of the map should go pretty quick. It's just kind of finding all the pieces and putting them together that's the most time consuming. And then you just have to wait for render and uploading time. But like I said, the pillar is real on this side. This one is not real, the base of it is, but the blue part's like... As well as, I didn't show in the video, but uh, behind the stadium, you should be able to land under the map on kind of a piece of ground behind the stadium. I totally forgot to show it. I'm just going to grab my attack, attack here for a second, because I would kind of might as well take it with me, because there's nothing really to risk here. You can't really screw this up. Unless you're like my friend, someone who's like, flying over top of everything, but... Anyways, when you're over here, you can go along all these series roofs. I'll be showing you everything you can get to. You can jump on all these, as well as just make a quick little three stack, and you should be able to get on top of this roof over here. Not as much, because part of it's barrier, but you can get on part of it. It's kind of a cool spot to go on. Play your tack up here. Now I'll be showing you two areas that you can jump to. Now, straight ahead of me down that road, right past the statue, that's where I'm talking about. There's a huge body of water. You'll see it right over there, down that road, straight ahead of me at the intersection. Over there, there's a huge body of water, except all the care packages already turned fake here. If you try to start throwing them right here, they will not land on ground. They will land below the map. Unfortunately, that's the problem. I have no idea what's up with these cars that's on the map. They are terrible, disgusting looking. I don't know what's wrong with them. But anyways, come over here. There should be another area that you can get to. It's, I barely made that jump, I just realized. I'm like right on the edge. But over here, you can kind of crouch into like this little barrier spot. Nothing too special. It's kind of another section. Because on the other side here, you couldn't actually care about it. Hop over here because there's a huge barrier, like I said, in the way. Now, going back inside the map, we're going to be care about breaching over here. I had a huge monstrosity of care about just here. I don't know what the heck I was doing. But. So, just kind of reach out over here, go through the fence, and there should be a few small spots. I'm going to be showing you another building in a second, kind of like Havana, where you're kind of floating in the roof, which is pretty cool. Or, you can get outside the map. It kind of depends on which way you breach. I'll be showing you that in a second. I'm pretty sure I have soul breach. That's like the second soul breach I've done on this video. It's pretty awesome. But, as for like this one, um, what was I going to say? Uh, like, get, yeah, you can get outside the map in like two different ways, but... For this spot over here, you just kind of make a two stack or one is slanted, it's all your preference. And jump on top of here, it's a little cool spot. But I thought there was an area where you can get under the map, it's just really awkward and very unpredictable. I didn't bother closing, it's kind of near the bushes I'm pretty sure, but I wasn't quite sure. Like all my clan was kind of like iffy, like, like is it possible, is it not, we couldn't really remember. Like I got partially under it, but I felt like I was in a one way barrier so I didn't bother uploading it. So. I just kind of showed you like the main secret room so you can actually just get in. So from here you can take a big run jump over, you can do it perfectly, you should be able to land on a platform over here. This part like literally looks like part of the map, I don't know why they just make it part of the map. I don't know if it's open on certain game modes, but I don't think so because the staircase is fake, but I don't play a lot of online because I'm dedicating all my time to glitching, so I don't get that. I The only thing I really do when I get games, like I'll play online occasionally, but most of the time I'll either be glitching or getting like trophies or something. I've always wanted to get, like, always get, like, a lot of achievements slash trophies wherever you guys play Xbox PS3. Always been up for it, like, I, I have, the, like, 25 platinums right now, but I always like doing that, so I don't really play a lot of online, so if there's any, like, 
I occasionally I'll upload something that's like a secret and then someone's like, oh yeah, that's uh, open in a different game. Like, oh shit, okay, that's awkward. But um, <laughs> from up on top of this roof, by the way, you can actually just walk outside the map, which is kind of cool. But no, you cannot make a stack here and get back on the roof. It's a one-way thing. You go through and you can't come back. But however, if you breach it in a different way, you'll actually be able to go under the roof and actually kind of walk inside the room, which is kind of cool. So I'm going to be showing you that. You can, I I did this kind of like luckily usually if I did it like this in a corner it's gonna breach me through the corner but I prefer to do a ground breach I personally would say which usually when you start out in a ground breach kind of make like a triangle formation of care baggage markers kind of make a triangle out of it so that way it kind of helps luckily I don't know how I managed to go under here I was not even tr like really trying I don't think at the time but I managed to flick off and do it. I was really worried because when I made a stadium video, I made it more than 33 hours and 30 minutes on one part. So then I had to redo all a bunch of stadium. It really pissed me off. All because I can't record more than three, 3 hours and 30 minutes and put it in my timeline on Sony Vegas. It just doesn't work. I don't know why. But, um, so I kind of remember not to do that anymore. But as you can see, you can kind of walk all inside this room kind of like a van. It's pretty cool to do. It's pretty fun. I enjoy it. But now as to the last secret room I'm going to be showing you, it is kind of on the opposite side of the map. And just kind of like kind of under the map, partially actually. So that's pretty much like the last secret room I'm going to be showing you. Finally this commentating is over, 20 minutes going at it. And then the next video should be Convoy, followed by all the rest of the maps that are upcoming. Hopefully you guys are still enjoying this series, I know I like, I love doing these glitches. There's a lot of good times on Black Ops, but hopefully in Black Ops 2, we're bringing in a bunch of new glitches for us. I'm pretty sure that we'll be able to find a lot. I don't have a single doubt in my mind. It should be a lot of fun. I'm just kind of curious on like what we're going to be working with and how the physics of the game works. Let me kind of determine how to actually approach coaching on this new game. I'm pretty sure it's going to be like all the rest of the Treyarch games. It's going to have the same kind of feel and behavior to all the glitches. So, nothing too special. But anyways... Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I'd really appreciate it if you go subscribe to our channel. So I'll see you guys there and have fun glitching.